But before he left Hungary, Russia Flores gave an interview that was to be broadcast only if he didn't return from Bolivia. In this, he explained his mission. Santa Cruz városnak, illetve a tartománynak a védelmét. Hát arra kell vinni a helyzetet, hogy politikai eszközökkel, de hogy erőfelmutatva, hogy fel vagyunk készülve. Egy pár hónapon belül elgyújtsunk oda, hogy ha autonómia nem, ha együttélés nem, autonómiával, akkor kikjátjuk a függetlenséget, és csinálunk egy új országot. In an email found on his laptop, Rocha Flores wrote to a potential Hungarian recruit less than a week before Michael Dwyer arrived. We are starting to organize the military department and the training facilities, he wrote. He said his planned movement couldn't be more anti-communist and was partly Indians versus whites in character, aiming to create an army of over 2,000 believed to include dozens of European mercenaries, he wrote that he was planning operations with a limited size and impact, and that these could lead to a long-term crisis, the Kosovo effect. He said, kind of, he comes here just for defending his people. No, that's not true. He went there for organizing a civil war. He was going to, uh, through several terrorism acts, he was going to create the necessary elements for an instability that would force the government to send the troops over there, and then he would be the defender. A civil war would uh, take place over there, and then the independence, because they should win that civil war. Rocha Flores was recruited as a mercenary by wealthy businessmen because he was born in Santa Cruz and was known as a Balkan War veteran. But why would Rocha Flores hire Michael Dwyer? He spoke little Spanish, had no military training and probably knew little of Rocha Flores' plans, initially at least. He did, however, have a tough man image. On his personal web pages, he listed kickboxing and pistol shooting as hobbies. Bolivian authorities believe this image. 